this Benoist uh, this is a Benoist system and what do you mean Benoist? Benoist, Benoist is a bridge navigational watch alarm system and it is used to monitor bridge activity and to detect operational disabilities which can lead to marine accidents that is the main thing for Benoist hmm? now uh, we are going to talk about this these three things uh, first of all this is uh, this is a main alarm panel and this is a, a time reset panel and this is a cabin panel okay uh, now this this alarm main alarm panel this is made this is made from Furno and this is this model number is BR510 and this is also from Furno and this model number is BR550 uh, this is uh, okay. this is also from Furno uh, and this model number is BR540 now uh, we are going to see the connections uh, this connection is from the this two connections is from the AC uh, the AC that is 230 mm. volt uh, and, and this this connection this two connections is for, from the DC, uh, DC that is 24 volt DC uh, and this is a switch uh, therefore AC and this is a switch for DC mm. okay first of all we need to switch on the AC supply then we need to switch on the DC supply now the system is on main alarm panel is on this is booting up now it's showing the software versions okay now it's loading uh, now it's on mm, so first of all we need to set the mode it is in manual, manual off so we need to we need to uh, change this manual off to on so in order to do that we need to press the mode button so there is a password uh, the password is uh, top uh, right bottom left then end call then menu let's see there are three modes that is you can see right it's a uh, manual off uh, manual on and this is, there is an autopilot mode so we need first of all we need to put this on manual mode uh, so we're going to put this like this uh, just press the end call and it will be selected so the timer is running out so uh, in this time we can explain the ports this is connected through a canvas connection this main alarm and this, co this connection is uh, this connection is from shield uh, then uh, power supply then it's a uh, ground and then two transmitting and receiving for two four transmitting and receiving this is the pn tv2 ports okay this is the main alarm and then system then from tv3 to tv tv6 there is a uh, remote that is for reset that is for this br550 that is a time reset so in this time reset we have connected uh, one for uh, power then for ground then two for receiving and trans transmitting and receiving data so this four pins are for reset then this around 6 pin that is starting from tv7 to tv12 this is from the cabin panel uh, so in order to we have just connected only one cabin panel that is only for buzzer uh, we just need to show that that is this is bf540 uh, this is connected this connection is from uh, this this buzzer buzzer connection the red is red wire that is from the just the series this uh, this we are connected a uh, buzzer and a ground to second pin and six pin we are connecting in this we go we are connecting this is in the ground and this is uh, this is the buzzer buzzer connection now uh, this this board is for people public public connection uh, now this connection is for motion motion sensor and this is for autopilot that is uh, this starts from uh, TB13 to TB17. This TB13 to TB15 for public and TB16 for uh, motion sensor and TB17 for autopilot. Autopilot. And these four pins are for reset and this this also for reset. Reset pins. Uh, now we're gonna talk about the TB18. Uh, that is uh, that is a reset pin. Uh, reset. Uh, then there is TB19 that is for video, uh, video now it is for flash alarm flash alarm uh, now this is TB20 it's for video video connection 
to in order to send data uh, in order to watch the data well, uh, now this is this is an, another pin for reset that is tb21 mm, okay uh, this is this are full connections for this uh when was now we, we got we have got a uh, first pre-warning message that is uh that is a push any key you know if we don't push the key uh it will go to the st uh, next, next stage that is, that is the first stage alarm Stage. Second stage means we are connected to the cabin panel connection. So in order to reset that, oh, we have, we did not connect the reset pin. So in order to reset that one, we need to press the reset button. That's all. Uh, now we can connect uh, connect like if you if you need to connect it just to the uh, more more thing, we can connect connect it in this uh, that is cabin. We have connection for cab uh, six connections for cabin. Uh, we can connect everywhere. Um, uh, this this connection that is reset connection that is for two four bridge and two four uh, one four uh, port side and one four stab port side. So we gonna uh, we gonna change the uh, manual mode to autopilot mode. So uh, we just set two input ports like. We don't have that just showing up that we need to short these two wires. Okay, uh, this two pin from first first and second port and th these four, four ports are for reset ports. So we're gonna show that thing. So uh, just like uh, lastly we uh, we, just, we just need to press the mode then top right down left and end call then menu then the, the three mode appears so we need to change this mode to uh, change to autopilot mode so okay uh, just press the press the end call button then now the autopilot mode is on so in order to connect uh, connect this autopilot mode we need to we need to connect uh, connect this inputs to the autopilot uh, thing okay now we are just kind of uh, just shorting the two wires in order to show this mm, just shorting now now look at this the timer starts running uh, now if we now if we release this uh, there will be the autopilot will be off so like this We just pause the video in order to save the time. Now it will show a display warning. Yeah. Now the other stage is to pass to the alarm. Now it will. Now it's a pause stage. This transfer to the next stage. Now look at this. This is the second stage. So in order to stop this, we need to we just connected the buffer buffer only. So we need to press the reset in order to reset this uh, alarm. So we gotta reset this alarm. Now we have a mode like an emergency mode in order to call everyone in this on the ship so if we press this one everything will be every everyone will get the call so <coughs> it's, it's so it, this is all about so we're going to conclude this banwas so these are these are the things in the banwas system so, so i think you have understood everything